What's up, guys? My brand here for lines.com, playpicks.com, and let's talk the New England Patriots here in 2021 before we get going. As always, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up as well, and then let us know in the comment section how you're going to bet the New England Patriots or what you think about the New England Patriots as we head into the 2021 season. Hugely active in free agency, pretty bold in the draft as well. This New England Patriots team, you can see a full Full betting guide over here on the lines, absolutely free. Just head up here, hit the NFL tab, and it'll take you to a gigantic page with all of the betting guides. You can go ahead and click on which team you want to take a look at. In free agency, like I said, hugely active. Tight end Hunter Henry, tight end Jonu Smith, linebacker Matt Judon, linebacker Kyle Van Noy, defensive tackle Davon Godshaw, defensive tackle Henry Anderson should be in the rotation as well. Defensive back, Jalen Mills, wide receivers Kendrick Bourne and Nelson Aguilar. They traded for Trent Brown. Lots and lots and lots of offseason activity for this New England Patriot team. On the draft pick side of things, we all know how this goes. They went ahead and took Alabama quarterback Mac Jones in the first round. In second round, they stayed in Alabama and they got Christian Barmore, the defensive tackle, a big-time prospect out of Alabama. In third round, defensive end Ronnie Perkins, to add to that defense, and then they took a running back in the fourth round, Ramondre Stevenson. So if we take a look at how this team is going to break down here, these are the Super Bowl odds, and if you take a look, New England Patriots at 35-1 to to win the Super Bowl. Now this was a team that was 23rd ranked in offense, DVOA last year, 26th ranked in defense in 2020, which by the way, Huge drop-off from 2019 where they were one of the best defenses in all the league. Now, let's remember, defense was really good in 2019, but they had a bunch of opt-outs, a bunch of injuries. All of that went down in 2020. So you got to think about you know the guys that they're going to get back, especially a guy like Dante Hightower, right? He sat out because of COVID. So just remember, you get a guy like Dante Hightower back in the lineup as well. If we'd look at the conference odds to win the AFC, New England Patriots at 16 to 1. You can see still a bunch of teams ahead of them here in the AFC. Of course, the Chiefs are going to be the favorite. Bills right behind them. And then you have the Ravens Browns kind of like lurking there as well. Four really, really good top heavy teams as well. And if you think the Titans are going to be good again, then man, you got five top heavy teams. I don't know if I could get to the Patriots at 16 to 1 to win the conference. Now, the division is a different story. If we kind of roll down here to the AFC East, Bills minus 150, Dolphins 310, Patriots 350, Jets 25 to 1. Now, the Bills are the favorite minus 150, rightfully so. The PFF has New England power ranked 15th heading into this season, has them projected, you know, to to win the Super Bowl 0.9% of the time, so under 1% of the time. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they got to get through the Bills just in the division. And, oh, by the way, the Dolphins are expected to be much better this year. That said, if you're bullish on all the move, on all the moves they made in the offseason, then the 3.5 is a good number on this Patriots team. Uh, you just got to think that they're better than the Dolphins or the Dolphins aren't going to take that next step. Maybe Tua doesn't take that next step for them. If you uh, if you go up here, regular season wins, guys. Well, um, this is one of the things that you know. This is the one of the deals where experts out there have really started to kind of disagree a little bit when it comes to this uh, to this Patriots team. If I can ever find them on here, um, the New England Patriots are a team that everyone seems to have taken kind of a stance on. You can see nine and a half is the win total. They have to get to ten. So I have to go 10 and 7. Remember, there's an extra game this year. But the overs used to plus 110. You can see the under at minus 130. There's a big divide as to how good this New England Patriot team is going to be. Pro Football Focus only has them projected at eight wins on the season. What they do is they go out and they simulate the season 10,000 times. Over those 10,000 times, they average eight wins. The under hit 71.1% of the time. You can see that's why that thing is juiced to minus 130, according to Pro Football Focus. Now, this team, if we come over here, we take a look at um, will they make the playoffs or not? New England Patriots right here, 
No, minus 140, yes, plus 110. This is a team that had the 14th rated defensive line entering this season in 2021. They had the 14th rated defensive line. They added Matt Judon, Kyle Van Noy, Davon Godshaw, Henry Anderson, Mon- uh, Montrevious Adams is going to be there, Christian Barmore, Ronnie Perkins. I mean, like, this is just a, a, a ton of... Of, of guys that they've added on this defensive side of the ball that should make this team much, much better. They should have a really good offensive line as well. Third-rated offensive line, according to Pro Football Focus, entering the season here. Isaiah Wynn was great in his sophomore season. Shaq Mason is a complete stud. They traded for Trent Brown to start on that offensive line as well. So really, this all comes down, if you take a look at, will they make the playoffs? One, you have to decide, will there be two teams coming out of this division? Because you, you have to assume it's going to be the Bills, is there going to be two teams come out of this division? And if so, then you're getting the plus 110. I would, if you think there's two teams coming out, I would just bet the yes on the plus 110. I would not bet them to win the division because, again, I think the Bills are that good. And going out and getting Mitch Trubisky as a backup, I think it just really solidifies that team a ton. So it would only be betting the yes plus 110, not them to win the division. Really, it's all going to center around Cam Newton and the health of Cam Newton. Do you believe in Cam Newton? He was the 27th ranked quarterback in the entire league coming into this, coming into 2021. That's where they have him ranked. He he is only better than five other guys. Sub 60 passing grade and eight of 14 starts last year, last year for Cam Newton. He's going to have to step it up or we're going to see Mac Jones pretty early on. If that's the case, then it definitely could see this win total going under the nine and a half because he's a rookie, Mac Jones. And, you know, rookies don't really succeed all that much. We got spoiled last year with how good Joe Burrow was playing before he got hurt and how Justin Herbert played. But it's just not really the case with rookies the majority of the time. So if you want to head over here, betting guide right here, guys, really and truly for me, the only bet that I would be making if I was a Patriot fan or a Patriot backer would be the yes on making the playoffs. That's the only thing you're going to get from me. I do have a lean to the under on the win total as well. I am a little bit more bullish on the Dolphins and the Bills, and I think the Jets are going to be even a little bit better. So I'm kind of bearish here on this Patriot team as a whole. But be sure, head over to the head over to lines, get this full betting guide here that we have written. Really, really awesome. Just click the NFL tab at the top of the page. As always, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up in this thing, and then let us know in the comment section how you're going to bet the Patriots. What do you think this team's going to do this year? Is Cam going to be good? How soon are we going to see Mac Jones? What do we think about the 2021 version of the New York Patriots? Good luck on all of your bets.